Hey friends, today from the Southern Plate Recipe Box, it's all about the filling. A cream cheese filling, that is. That's because today we are making cream cheese filled banana nut bread. Now, I'm a fan of banana nut bread already and honestly think sometimes my family doesn't eat the last few bananas just so I'll use them up to make a banana nut bread. Hmm. But today, we are stepping this tasty bread up a notch with a cream cheese filling. Plus, a few subscribers of ours have asked a question about what's the best way to soften cream cheese. And so I wanted to show y'all some different ways to soften cream cheese. Now, this recipe is quick and perfect to make any afternoon for a quick snack or treat. Once this loaf is set out, I promise it won't last long. I've made this mistake. So you better get your piece first before all that's left is a trail of crumbs. It's that good, y'all. These are the ingredients you'll need for today's recipe. The ingredients you'll need are ripe bananas, eggs, butter at room temperature, all-purpose flour, baking soda, salt, sugar, milk, vanilla, and walnuts, which is optional, or I've got pecans here, and then cream cheese that's softened. Let's first preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Spray a 9x5 loaf pan with nonstick spray and set aside. In a small bowl, whisk together the one cup flour, baking soda, and salt. Then, just set that aside. Now, in a large bowl, mix together the 3 fourths cup sugar, butter, milk, vanilla, and two eggs until well combined. Then add in the flour and baking soda mixture and stir to incorporate. Now in a small bowl, mash up the bananas and then fold them into the batter. This is kind of like some stress relief here, mashing these up. Mix until everything is combined. Okay, now we want to focus on our cream cheese filling. Now, if you are like me, you start in on a recipe and then realize the butter or cream cheese needed to be softened, and you have that good grief moment when you realize you didn't ever set them out. No worries, let's talk about the different ways to soften cream cheese. One way is to set the cream cheese in a microwavable safe bowl and then microwave in 15 second increments until soft. Another way is to cut it into small chunks and microwave for 15 seconds. Or you could wrap it in plastic wrap and submerge in hot tap water for about five to 10 minutes. All of these ways are quick and simple and don't require you to remember to set it out in advance. But if you are more prepared than I usually am, you can leave it out overnight and it will be ready for you to use the next day. Okay, let's get to baking. Now let's prepare the filling by creaming together the egg, cream cheese, sugar, and flour in a medium bowl with an electric mixer. Pour half the bread batter into your prepared pan. Then spoon the filling mixture over the bread and spread it around evenly. I like to keep it in the center. Pour the remaining bread batter on top. Then sprinkle with your walnuts, or I've got pecans today for a topping if you like. It's optional here. It's a must for me as I love that little crunch with the soft bread. But if you have someone with a nut allergy in the house or just don't like them, then just leave it out. Then bake for 50 to 60 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean. Oh my, just look at that. And of course, the best part, time to enjoy. For more great recipes from the Southern Plate Recipe Box, visit our website, southernplate.com, join our email list for great recipes daily, and follow us on social media. Thanks so much for being a part of the Southern Plate family. See y'all later.